Hello everyone. In this video, you will see that how you can partition a C drive and you can create a new partition by using a C drive. For an example, um, if I go to my this PC and if I see that in my C drive, I have 327 gigabyte space, which is free out of 462. And in my F drive, just around 50 gigabyte space is free. It happens in most of the cases when you get a new computer or new laptop so you will see that you you will have only C drive on your system and that time if you wanted to create another drive where you can you store your data so how you can do that from the C drive you can shrink the volume and create another drive or in situation like mine we can create another drive if we wanted to so PC guide for you is here to help you with your issues for more updates subscribe now so in my case what I will do here now I will create a hundred gigs of space another drive from the C drive that means I will take around hundred gigabyte of space from C drive and I'll create another drive up here as of now we can see three and after a few moments you will see four drives over here and the C drive will be left with only around 227 gigabytes so how we will do that so let me close this explorer so and another point I would like to tell you you can do that on any one of your Windows computer whether it's Windows 7 Windows 8 Windows 10 or Windows 11 so the same method will work on all operating systems in Windows so let's continue so right click on this PC or my computer icon if you have Windows 7 go to manage so when you click on manage it will bring up computer management on your screen and from the left hand panel you will see device manager and other tools as well but we need to go here in storage option there's a disk management option here just click on it when you do that you will see the partitions of your hard drive let me ex maximize it so now here we can see in my C drive we have 462 gigs total space so I'm gonna take 100 around 100 GB of space uh, from here and create a new drive over here so let me right click on it and you can use the option shrink volume click on it it will analyze your drive will take few moments okay now you can see that the shrink C drive a window appears on the screen and we can see here total size here is this and the size of available shrink space is this so enter the amount of the space shrink in MB megabytes so let's say that if I want want to take 100 gigabytes space from this I want to create it so I just use I'm just using my calculator here to check so for 100 gigabytes I'll multiply with 1024 so this is the space in megabytes which I will use here which will create 100 gigs for me so 102 400 enter the volume here in megabytes and click on shrink okay now you notice that we got another drive here which is 100 gigabytes which is unallocated that means it is not yet visible in this PC let me show you an example here if I go back to this PC option and now the change you will see here earlier it was 327 gigabytes now it's 227 gigabytes available free space but we cannot see that 100 gigabytes as of now the reason because the drive is not yet created so the space is unallocated create a space and the drive we just need to right click on it create new simple volume click next and that is the space that we have just click next and it says assign the following drive letter so letter means if you go here you will see that C drive D drive F drive we don't have E available even though you can select any drive 
but you have default because E is the first, first one. So it automatically taken E drive. So I'll continue with the E drive and click next. And if you would like to label your volume, that means a name, you would like to give a name um, to this drive. So I'll use that extra and just click on next finish. It's formatting. Now here you can see on the drive is created. I got a notification here as well and it has 100 gigabytes of space in it. And if I now go back to my this PC, Windows Explorer, you will see here there is another drive created and it is, you know, empty as of now because just now we have created that. So 99.9 .9 gigabyte space. So now what we have done, we have taken 100 gigabyte space from C drive and created a drive E by taking a space from C drive. So this is how you can create partition, another partition from the C drive and create a new drive as per you need. I hope this video helps you if you got any computer and if you would like to create a new drive on your system. Thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.